you keep hearing about this thing called Discover Bible Study. So I could give you a, a quick sermonette to end tonight, but instead I want you to experience Discover Bible Study. So if you're here Sunday afternoon, you heard this, and, uh, and you might remember this, but we want to remember how to do a Discover Bible Study. So all it is, is this Word of God is true in all, for all people in all places at all times. This is, our, this is an amazing friend that the Spirit of God uses to do things that we can't, right? It can teach people. It's, it's an amazing book. And so what we often do is invite people in, and if they're ready to learn about Jesus, you can start in Matthew. If they're ready, if they need some, some story and, and they're just new to this old God of the Bible, then you can start in Genesis and you can just hit major stories, uh, and you read the story, and then you tell it to each other in your own words. We'll do this in just a minute. And uh, you just ask some simple questions, okay? What are you thankful for? Remember this? Let's, let, these, you don't do these hand motions in DBG. This is to help us remember, okay? But we're going to look for what we're thankful for. What are you thankful for? Thankfulness is the most basic form of worship. So we're teaching them to worship, all right? What are you thankful for? Do you see any needs in your family or community that we can meet? Okay, so tonight we're going to skip those two questions just for sake of time, all right? You read the passage, talk, talk about it with each other, and then you ask some simple questions. What's this teach us about God? Point to the sky. Be kids with me. Come on, come on, come on, so you can remember. What's this teach us about God? What's this teach us about us or man? If it's true, what should we do about it? If it's true, what should we do about it? And then who should we tell? And it's, just tr it's a transformative uh, Bible study totally based on how we study the Bible to make observations and, and interpretations. Like it's just, it's basic, but it's, you're just doing it in different questions and you're teaching them how to study the Bible. You're also teaching them how to lead a Bible study with their family all at the same time. And what I'd like you to do is do a Discover Bible study at your table. Turn in your Bibles to 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, all right? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and I want you to start in verse 16 and go through 6 2. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16 through chapter 6, verse 2. Okay, just a short passage there. And I want you to read that as a table, retell it in your own words pretty quickly, and then ask the questions. Here's a couple guidelines, okay? Listen up. Don't teach each other from other passages. And if somebody starts talking about something in like this awesome verse in 2 Chronicles, that's that's great, but you can ask, oh, where do you see that in this passage? And that keeps people focused. If somebody in this room was a Muslim and they started talking about the Quran, you could say, oh, where do you see that in this passage? And if somebody just starts talking crazy talk, you can be like, oh, do the rest of you guys see that in this passage? And that just keeps you from extra biblical activity and heresy. You see how that works? <laughs> group, dynamic, group study can actually be very protective against extra biblical, extra biblical stuff and heresy. And you just ask the question, oh, where do you see that in this text? You're teaching them to trust the Bible. Oh, do the rest of you agree with that? You're teaching them to trust the community that's also studying the Bible with them. All right? So what, you're going to read it, tell it in your own words. What's it teach you about God? What's it teach you about man? If it's true, what are we going to do about it? And I want you to do it this week. Okay? Let's obey the word. And then who are we going to tell, who are we going to tell this story to?